everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back in for another episode of God of War. In the last episode, Kratos and Atreus finally get the light from Alfheim, but it was definitely a crazy journey just to get it. There is some war going on between the Dark Elves and the Light Elves, and we ended up killing one of the Dark Elf leaders, or the king, at the very end. He mummered something to Atreus saying that you're making a big mistake. I kind of feel like these moments of us going and traveling across the realms and seeing some issues there and solving it, even though it's not our issue to solve, could possibly lead to some problems down the road. I feel like Kratos is always meddling in things that are so much bigger than he should really be doing and be in. I know that the light was important for us to climb the mountain, but I can't help but have that sinking feeling, and I talked about it last episode, but that we are kind of still a pawn in a bigger game here. I know that Faye wanted us to scatter her ashes atop the mountain. I'm not sure, but I feel like she would have known what we would have to go through in order to do that. It seems like she knew a lot about the different realms and the different languages, and she taught Atreus a lot of that stuff. So it's interesting to me to see us going and traveling through the realm and getting the light of Alfheim just to fight this fog at the end of the mountain. I feel like Faye, in a way, probably sent us on this journey and knew what our journey was going to look like. And I'm not sure who the witch is still. I can't put my finger on it, but I feel like the witch and Kratos are very similar people. I feel like there's a very high chance that she could be a goddess of some sort, and that's why she is so powerful. Also kind of looking out for Atreus and Kratos because she knows who we are. She pointed it out as soon as we went to her house with the boar that she knows that we are a god and she knows where we came from and she also understands that the gods here will be upset if they find out who Kratos is. Thinking all the way back to the stranger in the very first episode that we fought, they know that we're here. They know that Kratos has been living here, and I feel like with Odin's birds watching us all around, something's definitely going on. I feel like that's not gonna come anytime soon. I'm just kind of theorizing and thinking about what this game could entail. What is going on with Atreus that he's hearing these voices? How is he hearing his mother's voice? Why is he hearing Kratos' voice? When we went to the other realm, he was hearing all sorts of evil and good and just voices overall. And he came to us as we were leaving Alfheim and finally came clean with Kratos that he's been hearing these voices for a while. It's not just since we went to Alfheim, it was happening even before that. So something very strange and big is happening here, but I'm excited to pull the blanket off of whatever it is because I'm sure it's gonna be pretty huge. Last episode we ended after leaving Alfheim and going back to Midgard, so I think we're just gonna head straight back to the base of the mountain now. I was going to explore more and maybe try to get more treasure around the area, but we're still leveling up and there's still those weird red swirly things that I know are on some of the islands that I wasn't able to complete the puzzle for yet. But let's go see if now that we have the light of Alfheim, if we can actually release the black breath that is at the base of the mountain. What realm you gents shaking off? Let me guess. Alfheim? How'd you guess? I'd know that smell anywhere. Used to spend my fair share of time there, but uh, I ain't allowed anymore on account of the uh, incident. What happened? Well, ain't too sure your daddy's gonna like me talking about it on account of all the swearing and stealing and fucking involved. What? Don't judge me. You're the one came in all reeking of elf. Stirs up a man's memories. Go on now. I got things that ain't gonna hammer themselves. Brock is unhinged. <laughs> Absolutely unhinged. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm guessing, yeah, he has some new stuff that he can craft for us too. Sturdy defensive armor, obviously favoring defense by a lot. And a metal plated shoulder guard. This one's actually pretty nice. Has 20 strength and 22 defense. I like the ones that have like a mix of both. What's this one? We're not able to make it because we need the, oh yeah, the Ancients one. Well, I don't know. I really like this one. 
compared to what we're wearing right now, we're still wearing the Death's Vowel Shoulder Guard. It's a level one. I think we should go ahead and spend the money for this. It's 12k. It doesn't cost us any upgrade material, so... I'm sure you're winning Smiles armor enough, but why take chances? I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Very nice. And we're almost at a level three now because of that. All right, so we can upgrade. Oh, wait, we're not in the upgrade section. Let's check out the wrist armor that he has. There's a, this is a set, so we could get that one too. Or just like more defense, but I like the strength and defense. I like how it kind of splits them between the two. If there's quality material. I'm gonna do Ranger it. You're going, my last of day. All right. And this must be the matching waist armor. Yep. I like the one we're wearing now because of the... Wait, is it because... What are we wearing right now? We're doing one with runic. I think I might keep the waist that we have now. Um, zero strength. The defense is good, though. And the runic is also... I think I'm going to keep this one. What will it be, shorty? And he has some stuff too, but we don't have any steel for him, unfortunately. But these look really nice. So we need to go out and find some solid steel so that we can get an upgraded what outfit for need? Atreus. Light grip of protection, high perk activation chance to grant a protective barrier. Yeah, I like this one. I'm just going to keep this grip for now. I think it's perfectly fine. And what talisman do we have? Golden talisman of protection. All right. So we can't upgrade it. We need more steel. And the waste one, same thing. We need a lot of steel. And a frozen flame for our axe. We need some more dust for any of these. We could get a runic enchantment. But I like the ones that we have right now. We have like a luck one and... Some that are helping boost, like, I think there's, like, one for burn. We have a bunch of good enchantments right now. I'm not going to worry about buying any. But I will sell these back to him. Hey, whatever helps, right? And we're going to keep our resurrection stone. <laughs> and we could buy that back if we wanted to. I love how it gives you the option to buy things back. I think that's nice. You hitting the road or chewing the fat? All right. So I want to take a look at these real quick. Okay, so he is collecting the ones that we even give to his brother, which is good. I was worried about that. <laughs> what are those for? Those must be for big objects that we find. But yeah, he's been he's been keeping our stuff for us. Yeah, these are from Alfheim, these little trinkets over here. Okay. So let's keep going. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. Yeah, I was gonna explore, but I wanna I wanna get through more of the main Look, story. We rode past that statue of Thor earlier. When we left the witches cave. And what direction is that? It's mid morning. The sun is over there, so that's south. Southwest? Yeah. Good. So back that way is probably the witch's cavern. I wonder when we can actually go back there. Because I know there was a bunch of chests over there that we could do once the water drained. Oh, there's enemies over here. Prepare yourself. Yeah, he's down. Let me grab him. I missed my opportunity. Whoops. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. That was good, right? Better. Yeah, it was. It got juicy there for a second. Kabeka. Well, worth a shot. All right, so we still don't know what these are. I wish I could have asked the witch, but we were going so fast and she was talking. That's okay. So I do remember there were these gems in here. Oh, it creates a portal. Okay. Level six. Jeez. Oh, there's two of them. Level seven. Okay, that hurt. Jeez. some health somewhere. I feel like they're regenerating. I'm poisoned. I think we're not going to be able to do this one. I'm not going to race my Got resurrection it. stone. Um, these are hard. I was trying to kind of like pick away at them, but I think we need to be a little bit stronger to get this fight down. <laughs> it's level six and it's level seven. Jeez. I was trying really hard to kind of keep my distance and chip away at them, but I was barely doing any damage. Okay. So we know that that is there for later. What happens if we hit this one? It just makes the thing come back. Okay. Um, and nothing was over here, right? We just had the the tapestry. Oh look, the witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Yeah. Saves us some time. It does. I was kind of somewhat expecting the witch to come and greet us when we got back, but I'm kind of sad that she didn't. <laughs> I hope that now she is okay, because I just kind of expected her to be there. Okay, so I remember this one. We need a stone to put in there. Oh, this one fell. Okay. So we can stick this in here and read the lore marker. Boy, over here. Ah, I was wondering about this. Beware of, I think it's Seether. Beware of Seether and those who practice it. Their sorcery is insidious and ever changing and so are the souls who master it. The more powerful they summon, the more power they summon, the less they are themselves. Is that how they turn into revenants? Could be. 
seems like a good explanation for revenants. So I know how to get back up the mountain, but we never really explored over to the right Ready here. Yourself, boy. Whoa. So we should probably do that. Oop, I missed. <laughs> Good. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of like work my way around the right side of the map. What was that? Oh, another health. Because we went over to the left first, but I haven't been over here yet. We just got here. What are you talking about? <laughs> he hates looting. Absolutely hates it. Arcane Waste Guard. Runic symbol on this helps increase cooldown. Um, okay. Kind of crappy. We'll probably just sell it. I did want to look through something real quick, though. Um, we did not put sockets in this since I bought it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I don't think we need any of the Alfheim ones for now because we're not in Alfheim, so we shouldn't be fighting the Dark Elves. But if that changes, I will obviously change back to it. But since we're back in Midgard, let's go ahead and do... I was going to do Burn, but I like this Blessing of Cooldown. So let's do that one for our Shoulder Guard. Oh, this one doesn't have a socket. For real? That stinks. And this one has runic in it, which I feel like is okay. Oops. Let me look at what else we have. I feel like we have no luck, so maybe we should put luck on. Just because we have absolutely no luck. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's kind of a waste putting it in that, but that's okay. And I think I'm also going to switch back to this one, a last second dodge. I'm going to try to see if I can get it this time. I didn't really do last second dodging before, so I'm going to try again with this one. Because I've seen a lot of comments saying that it's very good. So I'm going to try to see how I enjoy the realm shift just have to do the last second dodge to activate it. Okay. All right, I don't know what that means. What it's for. Okay, so it's for this, this chest over here. So there's one right there. There's one in the fog. So let me see. Is it timed? I 
can't see what it is. All right, let me take a look at what they are again. My mind just blanked out on what the last rune was. It's a backwards B? Okay. Doesn't look like it's timed, which is good. Okay, so that should have worked. Nice. Horn of Bloodmead. Okay. That's our first of three again. Thing over here. Look, he's just like chilling by the fire. <laughs> he gets so bored so easily. I guess he is a kid. And we're just over here trying to find treasure. Oh, look. Speaking of treasure. Okay. I think we pretty much explore this area now. So I wonder if now that we've fixed the lift, if we can, if we can use it. Sindri's Skyway card is still down there. If you don't feel like climbing. Yeah, okay, let's take it. You read my mind. Um, oh, we've been over that way. Was there like runic crystals over this way? I think it was just the weird red fog. Wow, that was a big miss. Be ready. Yeah, it was just the red stuff. Okay. That stinks. Where is it? There's more. Okay, no. Oh yes, I hear one. They were pretty weak. Yeah, they were. All right, let's get on here now. Father, do you, do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. He just wants to carry her up the mountain. I feel like he should let him. At least just for a little bit. Never gonna have this moment again. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. What if the entire mountain is one of the titans? Well, there's the black breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. All right. Moment of truth. working. She was right. Come, let us finish this. Okay. I'm guessing the red swirly stuff will be another realm that we have to complete. Just a guess. Probably the one that looks red. 
Because I think Alfheim was actually blue. The music is so good. Pass ahead. It's blocked. Then we climb. All right, so we've completed the light of Alfheim. Yeah, so we probably have to climb over there. I just want to check out. Oh, we can't get over there. Okay. Never mind. But we did complete the goal. So let's see what it says now. Inside the mountain. Now we just have to get to the top. Dot, dot, dot. We dispelled the black breath with the light from Alfheim. Now we need to find a way up the highest peak where mom wanted her ashes scattered. Okay, so we're ascending now. We do have a bunch of skills. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and is there any more for the bow that we need to worry about? Not right now. I should probably get something for Spartan Rage. Press L1 to do a quick stomp that damages and disrupts nearby enemies. Let's go ahead and get that one. I should probably get just get both of these. Aim and, aim and hold R1 to select three targets on a single enemy or across three separate enemies. I guess that's good for like ones that are a little bit farther away. I don't know why, I just think that skill is not really necessary. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I don't really play that way, but precision throw combo now creates a massive explosion on impact. I haven't even been able to get a precision ax throw. So it's a flashing once you hit them in a weak point or a headshot. I'll have to look out for that. I wonder if it's been happening, but I've just missed. Cause that's pretty cool recall and then the next throw will cause an explosion inflicting frost damage okay so i'm not going to increase it because i i don't even know how to do it yet so we'll just hold off on that one but maybe this one while evading hold l back and press r1 for a quick boomerang throw okay let's go ahead and get that one and then maybe one for some shield combat. While barehanded and evading, hold L forward and press R1 to perform a quick attack. While barehanded, hold R2 to perform a shield slam and inflict a moderate amount of stun, which I feel like we've done. Barehanded, hold R2. Oh no, we. I'm thinking about this one. Hold R1 to sweep enemies off their feet, which I haven't really done too much of, but that's okay. Let's get this one for now. Wasn't there something else that I could throw XP into, though? Yeah, it was this. I think we should definitely do one of these upgrades. It's the runes. Um, Wrath of the Wolf, I think, is okay right now. That's a lot of XP, and I'm not sure if we're going to get other runic summons or any sort of other runic stuff for Atreus. The wolf is great. I think it's really nice, but I don't want to just throw some XP into it, especially not 3k, without seeing if maybe he can get another one. I do want to switch back to like a 30 second light runic attack though. I think I might switch back. Uh, we could try this one actually. Frost. The stun on this is nice, but the damage on this one is nice. So let's see how this one does for a bit. Strike on Utgard and I'm going to save my XP until we figure out which one we actually want to throw XP into because these are expensive. They ha That's a lot of XP. This one's kind of nice because it's a little bit more rangy. This one you have to just kind of get up in there and then slam down. I love the frost damage on this one though. I might actually switch back to it for now. Because that one's not freezing them, right? Yeah, it's just like a huge stun. So let's switch back to this one for now and we'll see how it goes. We could unlock the follow-up attack on this one. I have commitment problems when it comes to this kind of stuff, so I'll think on it for a bit. I'll think on it. You know, others said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they return to their home. Tjernan? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. 
Or maybe it is a giant. I don't know. The mouth, we made it. More black breath. It's very dark here. Is that a skull? That ended. It matches the one on the door to Yonheim and Kirsch Temple. The giants did come here. Okay. Is that just like another way to come up? Oh, uh, is that back down near? So we're probably going to come back down that way. Eventually. But that's where the red chest is, I think. All right, let's try to open the door. Is that a deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Interesting. No way across. But there's a sand bowl. Alright, so we've got a lever, we've got a stone in one of the stone holders, and an empty stone. Treasure chest. Let's see what the sand bowl is. What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree, doth know my call. Hmm. Rooted tree. Doth know my call. I don't know, maybe like wind or something? Nothing over there. Oh, there's like a room over here. here we go! Oh boy. Whoa! <laughs> There's more red stuff over here. That didn't work. Yeah, we need something else in order to open that. I did see... Oh, it fell. Okay. Oh, look, a stone. Where did that come from? Oh, how do you think that got up there? I don't know where this stone came from. That wasn't here when we came in here, right? This Maybe place must have been important to the giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Okay. The floor boy. It doesn't need it. Something's missing. Okay. Maybe by pulling this, we can put it together. Room. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, yeah. that works. Okay. Go ahead. Sure. Rouse. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. Okay. Well, I guess we go see what this is then. Do we climb this? Oh, it's a door. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? Yeah, I guess so. That helps, right? Yeah, it makes it a little lighter in here. Oh my god. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Guess we have to go down and go up. What is that sound? Running water? Yeah. 
Okay. These passages seem too small for giants. Oh, gosh. Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. <laughs> I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. But there's only one of them. Alright, let's light this. I'm so scared I'm gonna get jump scared. Now that I know that this game likes to do that to me. <gasps> I just can't with the jump scares. I can't. Alright, some more enemies in here. What's up here? A chest. Ooh, rare wrist armor. Sturdy armor favoring cooldown. So the scaled bracers of focus. Defense and cooldown. That is a big cooldown. 13. We just bought these new ones though, with defense and strength. Dang, and it has a little bit better strength, uh, defense, not much though, but I don't wanna get rid of the, actually, does it have a slot for, no, it doesn't have a slot either. Okay. I was gonna switch to it if it had a socket. All right. I hear some enemies. <laughs> over there. I hear an Odin bird too. Entry added. Revenant Summoner. This kind of revenant can actually summon nightmares. Does she create them with the Seether magic or are they just squeezed together in her pack? <laughs> I wonder how so many of them fit in that little pack. I love his bestiary. All right. I don't think breaking this stuff is giving me anything. I don't think I need to worry about the crates. I've noticed nothing falls out of them except for the vases. There's a rune over there. I hear a bird. Now. Oopsies. Keep accidentally doing that. Summoning the dogs. <laughs> All right, let's get this treasure and see if we can find this Odin Raven. I know it's around here somewhere. I hear it. There we go. I it's getting closer. Sounds like it's like right here. Maybe we'll see it once we get on the bridge. Oh, there he is. Okay, found him. All right, so I know that there is something here. Oh, look, we can get up here.
Okay, so there's another one up here to our left. How did you know that was there? Nice, creates a bridge. Okay. There's also I don't know what that is, but maybe it's just Mario, giving off light or something. Light crystal. Okay. Is this a trinket? Yeah, an artifact. Bottoms up. The giants of the mountain were so creative. Even these cups are little pieces of art. No two alike, each one special. We should see how many we can find. They seem rare and valuable. I am so sad that we didn't find this last one in the faces. Oh, there were two. Oh, spoils of war. We're gonna have to go back and find it. I want to find a complete collection. And I'm so sad. I thought I was gonna get it on this one and we... I didn't find where the last one was. Alright, anything up? Nope. Okay, let's keep working our way around. Nope, oh, he's alive. He's dead. He's very dead. Okay, so here's a crystal just like lying on the ground here. I know that these spinny things are probably a big chest, but where is the big chest? Hmm, should I go under there? I'm gonna try to figure out this area first. Let's go up this bridge and see what is up here. Ah, oh, there's the chest. Okay. That looks alive. Oh no, he's dead. Just kidding. All right, so let me take a look at this. Oh my God, that scared me. It's huge. Ah, oh, I see. Um, B N R. B N R. Okay. So there's one here. That one's N, but. So did that do anything? No. It's weird because one of the symbols is that N. Oh, look. That's a third one. So there's one there, one over there, and then one also there. There's also a chest down there. What's in this room? Oh, a lore marker. Okay, so let's think about this. I'm confused why it's not... He's alive. Oh, I saw the thing on the top of its head. Let's try again. Oh. I saw the shine and I forgot to press triangle. I'll get the hang of it once I start seeing it more. At least I finally saw it. Okay, so let's go down. Let's go down the zip line. How do we get to that chest over there? 
Oh, I see. There, it's definitely both. There's a lot of death here. <laughs> All right, so I'm not sure which one we're supposed to be focused. Like I'm under, I'm not sure why. Even though it's showing the symbols that are on it, it's not working. Okay, so there's the R. Do I just have to? The chest is locked with runic magic. Find and solve all three seals. But they're all being, there's the N, there's the B. Oh wait, do we do the B over here? I guess it has to be in a specific order. Uh, whatever that one is. Okay, so that one has to be the R. N and B. Maybe this one has to be B. Why isn't it hitting it? What? There we go. Mmm, it's glowy. Okay. So let's see if that worked. Yes, let's go. Another horn need one more okay so I think that's pretty much everything in this in this area I might be missing something because it seems like there's a lot going on in here but we got the chest over there we got that chest uh we just need a stone for this one where was that stone lying I feel like it was over here yeah right here I'll just say, it can't be too far because you can't run with the stone. You can't go very fast with it. Go get this lore marker. Then I think our next area to go is where all of those bodies were piled up, which is kind of concerning. <laughs> I keep waiting for a jump scare in this place. It's just, it's dark. It's the perfect environment for a jump scare. Look here. Sir. Ah, I was wondering about this. The Great Mountain. When the mountain was cold, it was Maloa, Malotha, and Onbrius who gave it life, wandering souls from distant lands who had tasted of the mead of poetry, and in search of inspiration found each other, and in each other found great love. To the summit of Midgard's great mountain, a secret bridge was built. Here they would make their hearth and fortress, to live free of prophecy, and know only themselves and each other. The mountain became a shelter for the outcast and the artist, for Jotner and new friends made, and to this beacon many more souls made pilgrimage. Even now, as the shelter from the storm, let none forget the beckoning spirit of the mountain that was. Sounds like the mountain used to be pretty amazing. Mom did always love artists. It's kind of beautiful that it was founded that way. All right, let's go back down. We'll go over here to the place where there's a lot of death piled up. Okay. This seems bad. Uh, this is a lot of bodies. Yeah. 
This is definitely something's home. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. The you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. True. Oh, we're by the statue. Okay. The statue! We made it across! Can you read it? Yes, sir. Oh, this is Durothron, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the entrance to Yodenham while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Who do you say? Durothnor? Durothnor? The stag. A stag of the world tree who watches the gates of Jotunheim, where giants come from. This really is the giant's mountain. Okay, so he's watching over. God. Thought I was about to fall off. Lots of money. Whoa, it went through the wall. Nice. Lots of scribes in here. Boy. A scroll. Is it a treasure map? I've seen this language before. New scroll found. Oh no, it's just a scroll. The serpent. The serpent cannot be spoken to, but his belligerence towards the Aesir is unmistakable. The destruction of Tyr's temple is infeasible while he remains. However, his presence has caused the Lake of Nine to submerge it completely. Therefore, the larger aim of fettering realm travel is still achieved. The Raven Keeper. Interesting. <laughs> How do I get that one? Maybe we can kick it. There we go. Okay, let's go in here. What? Oh, can I block that? Jeez. Set me on fire. All right. What's that used for? Maybe cooking? Hmm. Something else that needs a stone. Okay. What's in here? There's another one. New bestiary? Yeah, I thought. Oh, Draugr shield. Okay. Um, Draugr speed. I stomp them. I see them stomp their feet right before they charge. Should help us spot their incoming attacks. Okay. I think that was kind of new. And the power weapon one, I think is new. As if the undead trying to kill us with sharp objects wasn't bad enough. Some Draugr can channel energy through their arms. Getting hit with a rusty old sword hurts, but getting hit with a fire charged sword hurts worse. I already knew that joggers weren't just mindless monsters, but I didn't think they were smart enough to use a shield. They like using it too. We'll have to charge 
change up our strategy a bit and see where we can find an opening. It's a good thing that we unlocked that one skill pretty early on. I think it was this one. Yeah, double tap L1 to break an enemy's block. After press R1 after last second block to counter the attack with a powerful shield strike. Okay, I'll have to remember that one. Press R2 after last second shock to counter with a shield slam. That could actually be pretty nice. I'm just kind of hoarding XP right now while I figure out which ones I like. Which uh, runic attacks. <laughs> Is that a cave? Okay. So we can go in there. Was there anything back here? No, 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 no. I explored that fully. All right, so we can go up or we can go in this cave. I think maybe we should go in the cave first. Yeah, because it seemed like a way to get to the treasure chest. Nothing else in here. Nope. Wow. The highest peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. Are you sure, though? I don't know. I feel like she knew, but maybe not. It's a name, I think. Razlia. It means terror. That seems bad. Terror. Who or what could be named Taylor Terror? Yeah, exactly my thoughts, too. What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. What? Some kind of lantern? No wit, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Some kind of animal what? Hey, what do you think lit these torches? The dead don't need light. Eyes open. All right, so we'll have that for later, right? Because that's where we went down, yeah, into the cave area, so. For later. What is he talking about? Some sort of animal tied up. I didn't see anything. Mm. All right, let's go down here because I saw a chest. Echo, echo, echo. This cave probably has really good acoustics. Oh. Stop that. Come on. Oh my god. Just... That is so funny. Okay. I have the mind of a 10 year old boy. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> the timing on that was impeccable. I swear this is a blind playthrough. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's really funny. Whoa. Okay. Heart Whoa. of the mountain. Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. Nice. Right. Ascend the cave shaft. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at this room. Big old claw. Looks like something's supposed to roll on these. Yeah, the... something. Okay. Let me go explore right to left like I sometimes do. See what this does. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side. And if we get this unstuck... Oh! 
Oh my god. Oh no. I think the rope stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm. That was very scary. Free the chain. Stop. Great. But maybe we can find our way up through there. After, you know, getting rid of those things. I missed. the other one. Okay, he's just throwing stuff at me. Okay, there guys over here. So, should I try to do it again? Because it was kind of working, right? Here, what happens if he hits that? Get some light or something? No? Let me look up. Alright, let's try to pull it again. Just to see what happens. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Might okay. Come, boy. <laughs> the chunk of wood that got stuck. love the little treasure areas that are like only if you find them in little cave areas it's nice oh a chamber door we'll need something to get through this one yep three of seven well that's not going anywhere all right i don't know what that's for Looks like we can get up here. Whoa. The machinery in here looks almost dwarven, but the stonework, that's definitely Yoden. You know, I think the giants not only mined the mountain, but actually lived here. Maybe. What happens if he hits this stuff? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> So locked. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> we can't do anything with that yet. That's not the first time seeing that like sparkly blue bramble. Oh look, what's that? Can you read it? Yes, sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also doors. Should we add to it? No. <laughs> Should we add to it? Yatnar only, and also dwarves. Wonder who wrote that. The mountain was a stronghold of the giants in Midgard. After they left, the dwarves mined it dry. I think we should write Kratos is here. We need 
need to free the rope from under the mess you created up there, boy. Uh, maybe there's a way up there through that passage that opened. Yeah. We'll see. Probably. Let's keep exploring, and then now we know to go down that passage, probably. Alright, some red sticky mess over here. Is there a way up? No, we can't get up that way. See anything? Mining cart. That could be useful, yeah? A mining cart. How do we release this door? Can we climb up this? Okay, so no way up there yet. Got it. Um, do we have rage? I guess that was kind of a waste. Did we pull this already? What is this, Joe? I don't have to leave. Oh, uh, sure okay. We can figure this out. That was a the exit. Okay, so we've made our way around full circle. Let's head down this mining shaft. I think that's our only option right now. Is that some? It's Brock, isn't it? You had a way around the Black Breath all along. Now don't go thinking I could have gotten you past it, you big sack of meat. I got ways around most everything, especially up here. Time was my folk had the run of this joint, improved the design of the Jotnar traps, and built workarounds to boot. Why you think they're so devious? Oh, that reminds me. Watch out for traps. Okay, so there's traps in this gauge. Nice. Can we break this? I don't know if he'll get mad at us for two hack silver. Let's get you squared away. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look. I know we've got oh talon bow upgrade. He also has some more pommels for us. What do we have right now? Rising protection. Oh, protective barrier. Okay. So let's take a look at some of these. Marksman health burst. High, ac high perk activation chance to grant a health burst on any successful precision throw. That's pretty good. It also has a boost in luck, which we've definitely been lacking on luck lately. Hmm. Now where do we go from here? Executioner's health burst. High perk activation. Successful executioner's cleave. Successful axe kills. Grant a health burst. Okay, so all of these are just kind of like a health burst. I like this one because it has strength and luck. This one has strength, vitality, and luck, though. But the 10 luck on here is nice. 10 and 2. I think I might get this one. Okay, so for precision throws. All right. Where to next? So let's take a look at... Oh, we could upgrade our bracers. Say the word, kid. I think we should do the Talon Bow upgrade. Increases arrow damage and makes Talon bow skills available for purchase. I think I'm going to do this one. Nice. And he has new skills available now that we can throw XP into. Uh, so we need a lot of money to do this next one. So we should probably save up for arrow capacity to four. I feel like that's pretty big, having that extra arrow. But I've been reluctant to spend the money because it is a lot of money. <laughs> And I've just kind of been like waiting. We've been doing okay with three arrows. I don't think it's been anything terrible. Can we sell anything? Um, defense and the cooldown. This cooldown is really nice on these bracers. I don't know what we're still doing here. Scaled bracers of focus. So let me take a look at these. It does give it an enchantment slot if I was to upgrade it. The cooldown is huge. Getting rid of the strength might not be the worst thing in the world. But we just bought these. <laughs> I 
And I don't want to, like, feel like I'm wasting. A strength and defense is good. We would lose a lot of... We, well, we would lose 15 strength. But the cooldown, I'm just... I'm so... I think I'm going to switch to these now that we can add a socket. Very proudly, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and equip those. It does give us, like, a tiny boost and upgrade, too. So I'm not too concerned about spending that for that. Can we upgrade our chest armor? We need more steel. Okay. We could... We could do this one. Gives us more runic and defense. Fully upgrade to increase stats. I wish stats. mom were here. I think I'm going to wait on any further upgrades just because we have been spending a lot. And I'm nervous. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait it right. out. Lots of luck. We might find some better gear in this, in this mountain. You never know. So I'm going to go ahead and wait. All right, so where did we come from? We came from over here. Brock's over there. There's a way to get up here. But there's also a chest in there. There's an Odin bird over here. Wow. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. How did that miss? <laughs> okay. Shoo. All right, let's take a look at some of the skill trees before we move on further. It is nice to have this. Plus, we can put some stuff into our armor, too. We've got this socket since I upgraded it. So let's go ahead and maybe put fire in there. I feel like this burn is is really helpful so let's go ahead and do that because fire hurts and these guys have fire that we're dealing with right now so i think it's best if we do the fire let's take a look at his bow skills that we've unlocked light arrows cause larger explosions light arrows inflict a greater amount of stun damage to enemies that could be really good greatly increases arrow damage and melee damage greatly increases talon bow firing rate I'm going to do that power one and the stun damage. And then I'm going to go over to weapons. Yeah, it was this one. I want to upgrade this in Baldi's anvil. Okay. So now it does a lot of frost, a bit more damage. Okay. Nice. Now where should we go? How do I get to that chest over there? More traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't fit. Take it. Okay. What tunnel? Did he go into a tunnel? Oh, okay. He is in the tunnel. Um, wait, 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 wait. Come back out. I want a way to get to this chest. I feel like maybe we should go up and explore this little area. Maybe this is how we get down to the chest? Yes. Okay, nice. Every time we go a little bit off the beaten path, <laughs> Atreus is like sighing all heavily and... Why is that like that?
I just feel like it's like that for a reason, but maybe it's it's not. <laughs> All right, let's go back down and now we can go through the tunnel area with the crazy looking spikes. gonna go back over here finally I'm ready now all right so I'm guessing we have to do something with this thing I'm scared okay of course of course more? Yep. That was easy. What was that? He was like crawling on the floor over here. <laughs> Wait, I saw a new bestiary tip pop up and I didn't get grab it in time. We died. Well, yeah. Is that the bird up there? No. Oh, there he is. I saw him for a split second. Okay, got him. So which way do we? Oh, we can pull that. And you can move it. Looks kind of heavy. I can move it. <laughs> All right, let's turn the lights on. I'm just kind of trying to look around and take in my surroundings. Did that drop below or on the bridge? It dropped on the bridge. Okay. What is this, by the way? Is it alive? No. What was that? It's some sort of animal that was carrying now where do we go people from here? or something. Um. All right, let's put those down. And then I guess we're gonna push it over, over somewhere. I guess over here. Can we climb on top of it? Yes, we can climb on top of it. Is it? Oh. I see that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there. So I'm wondering if it can only move on this track or if I can move it anyway. I think I can only move on this track. I saw the door kind of like peeking out. Okay. An artifact, nice. Maybe there's a way through that big gate up there? 
I guess it's nothing. I just feel like there has to be something to do with this door. But I guess we can only move this thing one way. And we're gonna get up and, okay. All right, let's keep pushing it. That's it. Okay. There's another door in here. Wonder how we're gonna open those. I don't think we can boost him up there, right? Oh my god, what is on my arm? <laughs> it's like a piece of which way? A piece of something. So I know that down there, hopefully we can get back up. I'm sure we can, but this is that door that I was trying to get into when we first got in here. Oh, and now we can open it. Nice. Okay. All right. So we found that. Let's go back up. Nope. Don't pull. Nope. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> Next. Maybe I should go that way. Because maybe it'll bring me around to the door on this side. Look! Another lantern! Broken. Leave it. What could they be for? Something special about them. I can feel it. The lanterns? Okay. Alright, so we can kick that down. I don't want to go down there yet. Are we back in that room where we broke the... Yeah, we're back in the room where we broke the stuff. Okay, so it's gonna stay open. Nice. So we can open this door back to where we just came from. Okay, so that's like a whole big loop circle. Got it. To get back into that area, which is now open and we can drag the cart over there. Okay, I'm gonna keep exploring this way just a little bit further. For loot. Where to next? Oh, I saw it again and I missed. I missed my opportunity. There we go. Crazy death. Enemies down. <laughs> it didn't have to be like that. That was a little intense. Beast Jerry update. New tip added. With two weapons, they like their combo attacks, but we can disrupt their flow by parrying their attacks. Okay. All right, so we can get back down that way. This looks sketchy. Oh, 
So we picked up the treasure from that one that we dropped down here. Nothing to do with that thing. We didn't really need that health. Oh, a chest up here. Nice. Ooh, a rare waist armor. Oh, and it's for cooldown. Scaled Waste Guard of Focus gives us a pretty big boost in cooldown. But I don't want to lose the runic that we already have. And the socket for now. So we'll just keep it, but maybe we'll switch to it eventually. But probably not. Alright, so we did a complete circle around this whole area. Sorry knocked him off the thing <laughs> so let's go back down and go over here we knocked that chain down right yeah 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 and push this over there see what happens can I jump no, no, no. Over to this spot. Nice. I think it's up ahead. Okay. Ooh, what is it? A runic summon summons a cast of spectral falcons that dive into the ground. Okay, so instead of the wolves, this one has a lot of runic. And the same amount of stun. The cooldown's a little bit better, so let's switch to it and see how it does. Nice. We can knock this chain down. Now where do we go from here? But I want to see what's up over here real quick. Well, that looks heavy. Yeah. Oh, it was just a health. Okay, we didn't need that. No way. Leg day, leg day. Why give us the way to the top? All right, find a way to ascend. All right, so let's get down this way. <gasps> oh no, a troll? Oh my God. The leg is maybe a weak spot because it's shiny. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Ooh, that was an accident, but I'm going for it. Oh, 
jeez. Okay. Oh, God. I don't know why, but it wasn't letting me run. I am very confused on why I'm, like, stuck on him right now. It was only letting me focus on him. That sucks. Okay, that hurt. super spicy because when I was standing right here, I was not able to like move backwards. I was pressing to like run and like move around and I guess he was just locked on. He was ready and I was not able to block that stuff because I was panicking. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. It was worth it. We had fun and we got a frozen flame out of it. So it was a little bit wild. Sheesh. And we got a heavy runic mm. attack. Which way? A destructive attack that sends out a line of ice shards that inflict frost damage and launch enemies into the air upon contact. Okay. So it's just like a long range ice attack, which I love this one and I'm sad that I upgraded now because I have to be in the center of combat in order for this to really be beneficial. I should have gone with something like the Talon or this River of Knives, but it is what it is. I like the stun on this, but I'm just going to keep using this one for now. As far as the light runic attack, I like this one. I think that it's it's okay, but it doesn't really seem like it does much. Um, yeah, it has no stun to it, which really stinks. I like the Hell's Touch because it has the stun on there. Charge of the White Bear is okay. I want something that has stun on it. So I think I'm going to switch back to Hell's Touch. Because the White Bear, the cooldown is too long on that one. And the Fury of the Ice Troll is, is okay. But I like this double stun. Actually, Fury of the Ice Troll might be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and switch back to Fury of the Ice Troll for now. But we can upgrade our axe now, which is nice. It was a fun fight. It was definitely a little bit hairy there for a second. Okay, so now we can pull the lever. It's working! We got the claw back! Oh, there it goes again. So how do I keep it here? Let's see. What do I see around me? Oh. Okay. So what, are we going to hang on to it and yeet ourselves up? Oh, we're going to put this on there. Much safer. Much, much safer. <laughs> okay. It fits. That's perfect. All right. Ready? Here we go. Do you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something 
feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Doesn't sound good, though. Not the top, but we're closer. Yeah. Okay. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Ask them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. He finally put his son, his hand on his son's back. Even if it was a tiny accident. Whoa, what's Stay back. What is it? Fire? What the heck? All right. There is nothing over here, right? Why do I feel like I'm missing something here? The tunnel boy. Got it. Be careful. More tests. Yeah. Dwarf must have caught these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. Well, good for me, anyway. How are we on health? We have full health? No. <laughs> we do not. Now we do. Uh, oh, come on! That is not helping. Can you go in here? See you on the other side. Oh, you're going in the tunnel. Okay, I can't fit in the tunnel. <laughs> well, if we, like, freeze one of them... that doesn't work all right this is gonna get a little heated oh my god wait was there something this way oh my god all right i can go behind here and be safe Taken care of. Ah! My God. I don't see any way to to really stop it. At least not yet. Okay, let's keep going. Another one. Oh. All right, so there's a lever there. We'll wait for the fire to go and pull it. Okay, nice. And it just stays on its own? Okay. Atreus go. Ooh, a shoulder guard, a rare one. A rare chest, sturdy armor, favoring cooldown. So we're getting a ton of cooldown stuff. <laughs> um, defense and cooldown, which right now we're using strength and defense, which I think is good. I don't think those ones are bad either, but I think we're doing okay right now with our stuff. All 
Alright, nothing else over there. It was kind of like chaos over there. <laughs> Let's take this health. Another money! May not be as long a way up as we thought. What is that? Oh, we can pull it or push it? Okay. <laughs> Same with that one. Okay. So what, do we need to push it off of the elevator? Yeah, we have to push that other one off. Oh my gosh. He had a horrible death. Okay. Nothing over there. All right, let's push the other one off. All right, we're moving again. Hey, when we get to the summit, how far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world serpent? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Probably will be able to see everything. We're on a huge mountain. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though. What's that? All the stairs in here there's so many here we go. why does it look like this was once like a city Worry more. <laughs> no, we are stuck. <laughs> oh. All right, so we're stuck here. Why does it I look like the lips are stuck in that wall? Can you get it free? This was once a city. Look at all of this. I mean, I guess there were people that lived in here while they were mining, but it just looks <gasps> so interesting. I don't know. Okay, so what are we trying to get free? from this side of the wall. More leg day stuff. Uh, Alright, made it. <gasps> How much farther do we have to go? I do not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Definitely. Oh yes. Now be ready. Could not 
not block that. Oh my god! Fireball guy has got to go. We got to go. Sheesh. Stuck again. I know. Okay. Bestiary, new tip added for an ogre. This ogre has a very quick tell before he attacks. Father, uh, father can use that to get out of the way. Yes, they do. And it's good because I was finally able to experience what it felt to realm shift. Um, because I was able to finally, like practice on my dodging in a slower setting that isn't just these like fiery guys like just running at me so it was actually good that we had that fight i was able to do the realm shift and i actually really like it for the talisman it was nice how everything was put into slow motion shouldn't we get moving they could be back any moment another bestiary for the explosive father should throw his axe at them when they're powering up and they'll explode and damage nearby enemies that's good to know all right, so let's get unstuck. Didn't mean to do that. Well, it's getting lighter, so we're getting closer to the surface. I think we're safe now. It would seem. Father, uh. after we scatter Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. Yeah. Ew. That was 
was intense. Hold. Whoa, what was that? I was waiting for that. I do not know. <laughs> that was crazy. It was like a lightning dragon or something. I don't know if there's dragon. I, yeah, there's dragons in this realm because we're in the Nordic, like Norse mythology. So they definitely have dragons. That was crazy. That looks like a root of the Yggdrasil tree. Of the what? Oh, world tree sap. Shattered crystals. You can destroy world tree sap obstacles by combining shattered crystals with electric energy. Okay, so pick up the shattered crystal. L2. What L2? Is that sap? Crystallized sap. And then and there is power throw. inside. Okay. Incredible. Can we save some for later? I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. It was a dragon. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Oh. Yes. So I'm wondering, did he write down in his codex about what just happened? Would it be in the bestiary? I was expecting it under question mark, question mark. <laughs> um, it wasn't a troll. We fought Yarn Fautner, uh, Fautier. Isn't this the one that we fought? Mother said that this troll lives in the heart of the mountain with the giants. But there was a falling out one day that cast him out. Makes sense to me. I wouldn't want to live like a tr with a troll. I guess he moved back in when they left. Yeah, we missed that one. And um, have we seen this hell? Yeah, we saw the hell reaver. Yeah, I don't think he wrote it down yet. Stone ancient, soul eater, fire nightmare. Yeah, we don't have anything on it yet. Okay. I was just making sure I didn't miss anything in the bestiary pop up when that happened. Okay. <gasps> Sindri! Do you hear that? Sounds like someone's screaming. Yeah, it's... Wait, boy! It's Sindri! Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Oh my gosh. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you. Hey, Oakley! Over here! You okay? For now. Oh boy! 
Maybe I have to grab one of these. Oh man, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It has to do something with these things, right? Okay. Oh man. It's not letting me grab it. Alright, run. Grab one. All right, so we gotta mix it with the electricity. Oh my God, this is awful. Okay, here we go. Yes. <gasps> is that not its weak spot? Oh, there we go, there's the weak spot. All right, let's grab some health. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, man. Okay. Run away, run away. Okay. Can't grab that yet. Jeez. Okay, hold L and X to dodge claw attacks. Okay. over to the other side. We got it. Grab one. Okay, wait for him. I think we got it. Let's go. Grab a health. Okay, he's coming back over here. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I just need to watch out for that run away basically from those claw attacks oh they're so wide l1 to l1 to block stomp waves okay it's not really working are there more health on the ground let's grab this health
plan. Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. Alright. I do not care. Be Let's ready. Let's break this. Let's break another one. I'm trying to block this, but I can't. Alright, so we're gonna throw this at that thing. right into that. Oh, man. We're gonna die. No! There's no more health. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Okay. Okay. Help! Help! Grab the health! Alright, grab it. incredible that was absolutely incredible wow. we actually did it and you ah uh, but 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years not since the grand calling of the worms and unless I'm mistaken you did all that for me you are mistaken the yeah. dragon was simply in our path nothing more <laughs> you deny it all you want but you saved me and that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No, I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look, no, over its purpose. That I'm pretentious, no, and uptight, fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any. Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Can he give us some lightning power so we can break those red things? I wonder. Dragon Slayer, that fight was incredible. I I know it was like a little bit all over the place because I didn't understand how the blocks were working, but it was a lot of fun. That was that was such a fun fight. I can't believe it. Father just killed a dragon. Herazeril? Herazerlurier? I don't know how to say his name. I've never seen him fight like that before. I mean, I know he's really strong and all, but that thing was huge. The dragon's name was Herazler, which is sort of like the word for terror. It's an appropriate name, too. He's vicious, ugly, and shoots lightning out of his mouth. Luckily, Father was able to find some Yergesil, uh, yeah, Yergesil tree sap crystals, and he used them to stun then he stabbed a big crystal into his throat. 
There was a big explosion and down with the dragon. I'm still shaking from the excitement, but father doesn't seem phased. Does he ever get scared? He's fought way worse than this. So that's why he's not very phased. He's just like another day. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take a dragon tooth. Hmm. It's kind of gross. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. <laughs> oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh the smell. Yeah. Perfect. That should do. Oh. All right. There's nothing else up in there. So, what is he going to make? Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. <laughs> now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Shock arrows. You've acquired shock arrows. Shoot them at scattered crystal shattered crystals to destroy nearby world zap obstacles. Very cool. I thought we were gonna have to travel travel to a different realm, but this is cool. We just had to kill a dragon. You've acquired shock arrows. Shoot them to destroy obstacles. Okay. Whoa. Oh sure. Now you're impressed. Very cool. Um how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the bowstring's fiber. Aiming it at that hardened world tree sap will vibrate its patterns to fracture point. What's that mean? It makes certain crystals go boom. Trust me, you'll love it. Okay, very cool. Just make sure you watch each other's backs in the storeroom. Wouldn't want to lose my loyal customers. Okay, and you can press up arrow to switch between types. Very, very cool. Awesome. All right, nothing else over here for us. I think we have some stuff to sell to him. So, so what brings you around, friends? Let me look real quick. Oh yeah, we can upgrade the Leviathan axe and apparently the bow too. Um, we can also buy a superior resurrection stone. Use or sell your current stone before buying this one. So what does this do? A large amount of health or a small amount of health when you come back. But we could sell him this one for 500. Ah, I'm feeling less cluttered already. And then buy this one. Oh my God, for 5,000. Jeez. Okay. I think it's kind of worth it, I guess. If especially if we want to come back in the middle of a fight or whatever. So our chest armor we can upgrade. This is the one that's equipped. This is the one I was looking at, just because of the cooldown. The cooldown's very good. But I'm just gonna keep this one for now. I think it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about upgrading it right now. We also have this one scaled waste guard of focus defense and cooldown yeah so the runic is what we would be losing which really stinks because it's a hefty chunk of runic but the defense and cooldown on this scaled waste guard is very nice so i'm kind of torn i'm just gonna wait out for a little bit a little bit longer so let's go ahead and upgrade our axe you probably shouldn't let my brother lay hands on it but Ooh, shiny. if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Oh my god. All right, so we can get more skills now with that. And I think yes, that the bow has an upgrade too, so we should probably do that too. Um, careful with those. They, uh, they sting. Oh, I promise you. It's so pretty. Ooh, it changed colors. Oh wait, is that the upgraded version? Oh, yeah. What more do you need? So the upgraded one is like a blue-green color. I like that one. We don't have enough money again because we spent it on the upgrades for the other stuff. I want to see if we have some stuff to sell. I think we have some artifacts to sell, yeah. That should tidy up your knapsack. 10k, nice. Enchantments. I'm going to sell... Why do we have two of these for luck? We also have two of these ones. Moderate perk, activation chance to grant a blessing of cooldown on any successful block. 
I'm gonna sell this level three strength one. Okay. And I'm gonna keep the rest and think about it. I think that's a keeper. And for the youngster. All right, so it looks like we can get something better for Atreus. We should probably do that. So let me take a look at these. Aim shot enemies in air take increased damage. When firing rapid, the last arrow inflicts increased damage. That's pretty nice. What do we have right now? Reduce Talon Bow recharge time. Okay. Um, so this one is kind of like the upgrade to that one. It's a, the superior sharpshooter, which I like that one a lot. Recovery speed for enemy attacks. Sometimes Atreus will find health stones. Increases health stone potential or potency. I feel like that one's pretty nice too. But the arrow recharge time I think is, is going to be good. This one is just more stun melee. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this one. Far from the least. The smallest one I've ever made. All right. Let's go ahead and equip that one. I think the Something else for you then? decreased cooldown time is nice for the arrows. So we can sell this How one. How about you, young one? What did we miss? So we can increase this amul uh, the talisman. Takes quite a bit of money. We're going to be very poor after this, but it does increase our defense and our vitality. And now that I know about last second dodging, I do like this one a lot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. And we'll just kind of stick with the with this talisman for quite a bit because it is the best one that I've had. Was there more to discuss? All right. So let's take a look at armor we need to put that in here is there anything with runic grant a blessing of runic on any successful parry that could be huge what is this one cunning cooldown blessing okay or more luck yeah i like that one on there i think that one's good all right and this one. Let's look at the skills. So yeah, there's a lot that a lot unlocked for Atreus. Um, the shock duration increase. Let's go ahead and do that. And shock arrow inflict more shock damage. Let's do that one too. These are really cheap, so I don't mind spending it on that one. Greatly increases the Talon Bow's firing rate. Maybe not right now. Massively increases arrow damage and melee damage. That would be great. Look, it's 3,000 though. What's this one? Light arrows cause larger explosions. Shock damage can now be chained between multiple enemies. That's amazing. I want to go ahead and get this one. That sounds good. Shock arrows inflict a greater amount of shock to enemies. Let's go ahead and do that one. And then I won't touch any more for him right now. We did unlock this close combat area now. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after a Leviathan Axe attack. Once in a new stance, press R1 to perform a sweeping attack. Okay. It requires 200 vitality. What? For the additional bonus, increase resistance to interruption during this attack. That's a lot of vitality. Holy... While barehanded, press R1 to instantly recall the Leviathan Axe and perform a powerful spinning attack. That is really cool. I'm going to go ahead and get that one. I like that one. All right. So we only have 1K. Oops. Is there any that we can get for 1K? While barehanded and evading, hold L forward and R1 to perform a quick attack. R2 after a last second to slam the shield. We could try that one after a last second block. Let's do that. Oh, we can't. It's 1500. All right. So we'll get that one next time then. Next time. So far, I really like this Falcon's Dive. I think it's really good. So I will probably boost more once we have the XP unless there's another one that I find. I'll hold off for a bit since it seems like we just started getting runic attacks um, with Atreus. So I'll like hold off for a bit on upgrading them, but I really do like that one. 
And this one is pretty nice too. The Fury of the Ice Troll. I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it now. We get an extra frost damage and a stun on there. So that will be really, really nice to have. All right, we're all upgraded after defeating this crazy dragon. That's insane. Found anything good in Fafnir's storeroom? Like maybe a whetstone? All right, everyone, I'm going to stop here for the day. I think after defeating this dragon is a very good stopping point and a much needed breather. My hands were definitely sweaty during some of the fights today with the troll and with this dragon. Now that I'm kind of getting the hang of the combat more and actually using the light and the heavy runic attacks and blocking and getting the parries right, it's been a lot of fun doing more of the combat in this game. Now that we can use this shock arrows to defeat the red sap that is apparently sap from the world tree, we can unlock even more now. So I'm sure once we get the opportunity to go back down and look around the areas around the Lake of Nine and even in the witch's house, next time we will definitely be doing whatever else we need to do here on the mountain. But Seeing as how we still have a lot to do back below in the Lake of Nine, I'm wondering how this is going to play out. If there's something at the top of the mountain that is hindering us from going forward, or if maybe we scatter phase ashes and something happens with the gods after. I feel like so far we've just kind of been... I mean, it hasn't been an easy traveling road. Things have definitely been hard, but it kind of feels like we're getting closer to the top of the mountain already. So it leaves me wondering what has been going on in the realms? How does the witch tie into everything? How is Faye's ashes tied into everything? And I have a theory and I've told you guys that maybe Faye has been planning this all along. Did she know that there was a big dry dragon guarding the mountain and that Kratos would have to slay it in front of Atreus? And did she know that the bottom of the base of the mountain was covered by a black sort of cloud that we would have to travel to a different realm in order to defeat it? I'm not sure, but I feel like Faye knowing as much as she knew about all of the realms and the areas and what went on in this realm, I feel like she had to have known that our journey up the mountain would have taken Kratos and Atreus through a lot. And it's very clear that we have to work together with Atreus's bow and Kratos's power in order to make it through and up this mountain. But thank you guys for joining me today in this adventure and I can't wait to hop in with you all next time. Bye everyone.